Okay, and you know, I, I think to maybe to finish, we can give the, the title right here. There's a few icons I can see there's this button on, on the, the bottom. And then I'll give you back to you what you think, Rudy. Good, you, could, you can do also the, the first screen improve. I don't know if that's complete or not. Oh, we can, yeah, we can make yeah. a, and make then a cover you, for the first you screen. Give, yes, you give me back. All right. So here we have the title, it's called My To Do. My To Do, all together. And I can see the alignment, the text alignment is in the center. So let's just let here, the font weight is bold. And we can make a little bigger. This one we can make a little smaller, maybe 18. Go down a little bit. And let's just add this icon, even if we're not going to use. So we can go for the icons. I will select just a random one and we can search right here um hamburger let's make smaller 30 weight of 30 height select uh this color a bit more darker and there's also on the right side the bell okay make this auto height and we can align these elements by selecting then so if you press shift keep press shift and select the elements you can select uh, multiple elements right click Align um, and align middle. Right, and now they look more aligned. And let's see what is missing here. We have this button right here, this plus button. Let's create a button like that as well, a floating button. So for that, we can come here, insert a button. Let's place on the bottom, I'm going to erase the text. Uh, let's make the dimensions, the width and the height the same. So maybe 50 for the width and 50 for the height. Maybe a bit more, 70 and 70. Right, and now we have this square, we can make it uh, the border radius we can make more around so 12 i don't want any border and we could you know just use the, the plus as a text right here and make the font size a bit bigger But actually, I don't think it's looking good yet, so I'm going to try an icon. This add icon right here. Use a white for it. Let's zoom. And we can group these elements. So if I select both, I can see this option called group. And now I have a group right here, which I can rename using naming convention, GRP uh, button edge. Nice. Of course, uh, you know, there's more advanced ways of doing it. I can see that we have a little bit of shadow here and um some interesting things but let's keep simple for now you know uh i think the students who are watching this video are are already getting used with it mm -hmm. maybe in that remaining tasks we could 
uh, just have it written tasks and inside the parentheses have the count of tasks that we have in the gallery already. Okay. Yeah, because then okay. we it, it means what it is. Yeah, good point. All right, so let's do this. Uh, we have tasks and we have the counting of the tasks. Let's see how we can make this counting, right? And we need to make this number dynamic. So I'm going to type Amberson here. And uh, there's a formula for counting rows uh, from tabular data, which is called count rows. And here we need to say uh, which is the source. So I can point either to this gallery itself or to our data source. Uh, let's point to the gallery itself. Yeah, so just let's count how many items are showing in the gallery. And there's this property called all items, which gives us back, you know, the, the tabular data of the data being shown on the, on the gallery. And there we go. We can see that we have three tasks showing here. Sounds good. Uh, let's change the name of this gallery for gal tasks, another naming convention. And I will save the app to control S for, for saving the, the shortcut. And I think it's okay for now, this screen. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think it looks really good. It looks right. almost the one we are getting inspiration from. Ah. And let's check the home screen here, if we have anything to, to change. Uh, what do you think, Rudy? Yeah. To me, it looks good. <laughs> it's okay. Almost huh? good. Yes, it's yeah. okay. It's clean. Maybe some title to say what the app is about when they open the app. Choose a title here called My To Do. Yeah, good. Okay, let's save it again. And I don't know, I think we're done for this bit. Yes, we are seeing all the tasks navigating from the home screen to the task list. Mm -hmm. We are differentiating based on the status. Mm -hmm. I think next step would be adding more tasks and changing mm -hmm. the status of the tasks. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I think we can continue next time because it's getting a little late to us. Okay. Uh, yes, tomorrow is Monday. We, we still have to, to work. <laughs> to pay the yeah. bills uh, until we have thousands of subscribers but <laughs> yeah that's a good point so if you're watching us don't forget to subscribe give a like share this content with anyone that might be interested yes and if you want us to continue this video and send data to excel now and change the status let us know in the comments uh, yes so if anyone wants to keep watching we are going to do the next video Right. Yeah, so it was my pleasure, Rudy. Thanks for inviting me. And see you next time. See you. Thank you for joining, Leo. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.